Hey guys, Neptune here, and today we'll talk about effective HP in PvP. And most of you are kind of familiar with it already, but to make this video as new friendly as possible, I kind of want to explain what it is, but I suck at explaining things in simple terms, so you gotta bear with me. So here's how it goes. Your health bar represents the amount of health you have. As soon as it reaches zero, you die. Each hit takes some health away from you. So when you look at the number, the damage you take, you can clearly and easily extrapolate the data to come up with the number of hits you will be able to withstand without dying. But this number is affected by more than one factor. It is affected by the armor, flat resistances, the rings you wear. And I really would love to make a good calculator, but I simply don't have time for that. And it's very easy to test it yourself in the game. But the basic concept is, if you can track the changes in your effective HP, it may help you to optimize the build properly. Because in some of the cases, the change in your effective HP is very small, but the gains in other departments are very, very high. So it is important to know when you can trade it off and when you can't. Let's take a look at the examples I have prepared. Let's start with a very basic example. As you can see I have 40 Vigor and just a bit over 1800 health points. I'm using full herald set for 24 points of absorption. And as you will see in a second, I am capable of withstanding 6 hits from a card with skirt sword. This leaves me at around 165 health points which is not that bad. However, will the Lloyd's shield ring help me to take an extra hit? Well, the answer is no, it won't. It leaves me at around 200 HP, which is still not enough to tank an extra hit. This means that under those circumstances, Lloyd's shield ring is absolutely useless. Let's see if an extra armor will help me to take an extra hit. I'm using Knight Set with around 2% more absorption. I'm also using Lloyd's Shield Ring to see if it will actually help me. And the answer is no. It still doesn't allow me to withstand 7 hits from the Cardoscar Sword, which is disappointing. Let's see what I can get if I accept the fact that I am capable of taking only 6 hits. So basically what I did, I've dropped 5 Vigor and invested them into Dexterity. You can invest those points in whatever you want, it doesn't matter. This allowed me to drop my health points to 1700. And I'm also not using Lloyd's Shield Ring because fuck it. So let's see if I'll be able to withstand 6 hits in those conditions. And the answer is yes. Those 5 points of Vigor technically made no difference whatsoever. I was able to drop them and still withstand 6 hits, nothing really changed. And if you look closely, I have 50 health points left which is even enough to withstand an extra knife, so this is perfectly fine, I've just saved 5 stat points that I can invest into whatever I want. Look at what I am using, Prisoner's Chain, that is supposedly increases the damage I take. Let's see if it will actually matter. And well, despite the terrible lag, you can see, no, it didn't really matter. I was able to save 10 stat points and reinvest them into dexterity to gain a lot of damage. At cost of, well, there's technically no cost, it still takes 7 hits to kill me. Let's look at your options if you want to take more than 6 hits. In this scenario, I'm wearing my usual set of armor with Lloyd Shield Ring. also have 40 Vigor and I'm able to withstand 6 hits from the card of Skirt Sword in a row. This leaves me with around 200 health points, which doesn't really allow me to tank 7 hits. So what's the trick? The trick is regeneration. The moment I swap my shield to the blessed one and swap the life ring to the sun princess ring, I start regenerating health at the rate of 4 health points per second. This allows me to regenerate just enough to tank 7 hit in within 20 seconds. This means that if your average duel is more than 20 seconds, you'll have enough effective HP to tank the 7th hit. 
Now, regeneration is probably the most popular way to increase your effective HP, but th there are other ways, like increasing your health pool. Like in this case, for example, I have 45 vigor with the usual set of rings, that is life ring plus 3 and favor and protection ring plus 2. If I'm wearing Lloyd's shield ring, I'm actually able to withstand 7 hits from the Cardus Curved Sword, which leaves me at around 8 HP. So, is it worth it? Well, it's entirely up to you. Maybe you'd want to measure your character build in relation to any other weapon. Maybe if you're facing a dagger, it will result in more hits or less hits. It takes some testing, but as you can see in my example, wearing a chain allowed me to still take 6 hits, but I was able to free 10 stat points, which I could have invested into fate to get a regeneration miracle that would have increased my effective HP even more. But then again, at the end of the day, it is entirely up to you if you want to work on your character or not. If you do, do multiple tests, write everything down for comparison. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.